the famous Isaac Adakaboro Park, reputed to have hosted many protests and public events in Port Harcourt. By this Wednesday morning, it is a shadow of itself because the civil society organization's protests scheduled to have started from here to terminate at the NNPC Air State Office in Port Harcourt has been shelved. However, Chairman of the CSO's comrade Enefa Georgewill is accusing the NNPCL of only selling petroleum products to a private depot in the state rather than their government counterparts. Georgewill further accused security agencies in the state of stopping the protest, thereby stifling citizens' constitutional right to protest rather than provide coverage for protesters. Now that there is scarcity, diverse people are buying at the rate of 300, 400 naira. We are saying this is wickedness. We are saying this is barbaric. We are saying this should stop. For his part, the public relations officer of the CSO's comrade Solomon Lenu accused government of spending a whooping sum of 9 trillion naira on subsidy without results. If we cast our minds back to eight, nine years ago, you remember that our budget was a little bit below 5 trillion naira. To even make it more clearer, Nigeria NMPC said that we are consuming about 60 million liters of PMS today in this country. And that is where the problem lies. Lenu also alleged that government officials were in the habit of diverting imported PMS to their private tank farms where they sell at very exorbitant prices, thereby ripping off the masses. He condemned the silence of President Muhammadu Buhari, who doubles as the Minister of Petroleum and the Governor of River State, Yesom Wiki. As we speak today, students are crying. Students cannot even go back to school. People, who, students who go, go to school from their homes can no longer go there because of the high cost of transportation. If you even go to our markets and go and see the high cost of household commodities, you will weep for our parents. A lawyer and president, National Union of Niger Delta Youth Organizations, Jonas Neymana, says the present situation is unacceptable. He noted that the current price of PMS violates the provisions of the law regulating petroleum pricing in the country. People here in River State, those who are small-scale business owners, depend on these petroleum products to fuel their generators due to the inefficiency in the supply, power supply. So we are saying that this arbitrary increase from the official rate of 465 naira to the present price of between 290 naira and 350 naira is completely unacceptable to residents of River State. Investigation by Arise News revealed that the organizers of the protests were prevailed upon to share it given the test political situation in River State following the campaigns with the general elections approaching. From Port Harcourt, the River State capital, Andy Omano Omano, Arise News.